Today you're going to see how I cooked this loaf of prepper bread outside in the winter using no fire or electricity, right after the channel intro. Welcome, this channel is all about prepping and self-defense while still maintaining our integrity and honor. So subscribe to this channel to learn how to feed and protect yourself and your family after the system collapses. So the way that I cooked this loaf of bread in the dead of winter was using this sun oven or solar oven from the All American Sun Oven Company. And even though it was dead of winter and cold outside, this oven absorbs the sun's rays and gets hot enough for you to cook your dinner with. Well, it's late December and it's pretty darn cold outside, but we've got a good sunny day. So let's see how this all American sun oven does smack dab in the middle of winter in this Midwest and Northern state. Now you see a lot of people that will demonstrate a sun oven like this in the warmer months during the summertime, but you will usually only see them demonstrate it again in the summertime. And you will usually only hear them talk about how these will work during the winter time, during the winter months when it's cold outside here in the middle of the snow but you rarely actually see anybody actually show this being used when it's winter outside winter outside so today we're actually going to use this and we're going to cook ourselves up a big old loaf of off grid bread snow falling we're going to cook ourselves up a, a a big old loaf of off grid bread in the sun of it in this cold snowy day that we've got today now hopefully you can make this out I've had this oven outside preheating just about 45 minutes here in the sun and it is now just below 300 degrees. And I think that's going to be warm enough to actually go ahead and start cooking this. Obviously it's not going to cook in 30 or 40 minutes like it would if it reached 375 degrees but almost 300 degrees when it's this cold outside. In the middle of the snow I think it's not bad now the way that I made the bread itself before cooking it was my typical prepper off-grid way I milled down the wheat first then I made the dough etc and if you're interested in seeing how preppers will be making bread after SHTF I'll put a link to a video that details that at the end of this video well the glass is hot oh that's pretty hot I can definitely feel the heat coming out when I open it up. Now one thing with the angle of the sun being winter time, you don't really get that noon overhead sun where the sun's directly above you. So this thing has to be leaned so completely forward that it actually wants to tip over once I put the food in there. So I had to put these logs along the base there just to keep it from falling forward while it's cooking. Okay, as the sun moves, uh, we will have to, about every half hour, have to come back outside and move this so that it stays uh, facing the direct sunlight. So about a half hour later, we'll come back out here, we'll move this, we'll make sure the sun is shining back through the sundial again. And then I expect in probably just about an hour this will actually be done, uh, be, be finished cooking. So let's uh, let's come back and check on this later now. All right, it's been cooking about 45 minutes now. You can see the steam running down the windows and it's still hovering right around 300 degrees. So now about time that I actually adjust this to make sure the sun is still shooting directly inside of this dialer here. Man, it is really, this bread is really starting to smell good. This is definitely something that you would only want to be cooking if you could safely do so because you definitely would not have smell discipline going on here. This has my backyard kind of smelling like a uh, bakery. Now I kind of expected to end up having to do this in which I ended up did, but I ended up having to move the sun oven back several feet so that it would remain in the sun. I have, my shed is uh, not too far away, 
and as the sun was moving it was causing the shade of my shed <laughs> to come over the sun oven and of course again if the sun oven isn't receiving direct sunlight it won't work so anyways I just moved it several feet so it was back out of the shade of the shed and it started working beautifully again okay I believe that the bread is done now so let's take it out and see how it turned out and just look how that steam just rolls out of that oven when I open it up and we can see here that this bread turned out beautifully And we can also see how it slices very well. And now since we have a slice, let's butter it up. And let's try it. Okay, since we got the bread done and sliced up and buttered up now, Let's give it a try, see how it turns out. Oh yeah, this is good stuff here. This is actually really good stuff. Every time I have it, I'm amazed. This home ground, homemade, off-grid SHTF bread just kicks butt. I mean, to me, it reminds me of some of those warm, whole grain uh, muffins or biscuits, I'm sorry, whatever, that you get uh, at a fancy restaurant as an appetizer this kicks butt and if you're wanting to check out the all-american sun oven not even to buy it just to check it out maybe put it on your wish list I will put a link to it down below okay my thoughts on how the all-american sun oven uh, performed while using it using it uh, during the winter time and and in the snow when it was cold outside I was actually very impressed with how well it did actually work the oven got up over 300 degrees, not quite 350 degrees. I don't know, maybe 325, maybe just a little bit less than that. And pretty much stayed at that as long as I kept it pointed directly in the sun. Now, during the summertime, you have the sun, you know, the summertime, the sun will come directly over your head. And uh, it's very easy uh, to catch sun during the summertime. Plus you get so many more hours of sun. However, here in the winter time and here in my little small uh, suburban backyard, I don't have a, this huge backyard. There's trees around here. Plus I have an above ground pool that takes up like 50% of my yard and that stuff all casts shadow. So it was, I struggled a little bit to keep it in an area where it consistently got sun where as the sun moved, a shadow didn't hit it. Cause the second a shadow hits it, then those sun rays aren't going inside and it's not heating up that oven. However, as long as I kept it in a sunny, in a spot that was getting sun and pointed towards the sun, it worked wonderfully. Now, I was originally expecting to have the bread baked in about an hour's time, but it did take me about two hours to actually get it uh, baked all the way. Now, what I really appreciate about the sun oven is how you can bake or roast things in there. With other forms of uh, off-grid living, you're pretty much um, frying things up or cooking things in a pot or something like that. But So this gives you another option where you can actually roast something, where you can actually bake something instead of having something that's like fried or, or in a stew or, or something like that. So I like this because with wanting to be prepared, I always like to have options. So being able to cook with a fire is a good option. And then also being able to cook with the sun using only the sun is a good option. And then I've also seen in past history where areas that were torn by war or whatever that when it started getting close to winter time, people were burning books, stripping bark off a tree, uh, all trees were getting cut down. And of course those trees were green and not burnable, but uh, every little piece of thing, every little thing that could be burned, people were, were, were stripping them and taking them so they could burn them to cook their food and for warmth. So being able to cook something without using wood, I think is a, uh, a must have option for uh, preppers. 
So again, folks, you usually see people that tout these sun ovens to demonstrate them during the summertime, and then they always just talk about how they can be used during the winter time too. And it's pretty rare for you to actually see somebody to use one of those sun ovens in the winter time when you got snow on the ground and when it's cold outside. So today we did just that. And if you'd like to learn how preppers will be making bread after SHTF and how you can make this off-grid prepper bread also, then click on the video that should be appearing at the top of the screen just about now to learn more about that. And then if you want to take your prepping skills to the next level, then watch this video that shows how you can easily make your own wild yeast so that you can still make bread after SHTF when the grocery store shelves are stripped bare. So click on the video that should be appearing on the right side of the screen just about now to discover how that's done. Anyways folks, if you made it this far, hey, thank you very much for watching and I pray that you have a good night.